Well, not a bad day here, really, considering January, almost middle of January. Well, it is the middle of January. 30 degrees out. Hardly any snow. Pretty decent. I've been messing around in the shop here. Oh, that's all right. You can come in. Got this little kerosene heater going. Been out here the last couple of afternoons doing a little picking up. It may not look like it, but I spent, uh, oh, I'm guessing 12 hours out here sorting and putting stuff away. The other day I had a 10-minute uh, project that uh, I needed eight nuts and bolts of a certain size for. And it took me an hour going through crap to find them eight nuts and bolts. So I dumped everything I had because it was all in old peanut jars and whatever, five gallon buckets. I dumped them all out on the bench there or on the floor and I kind of sorted the wife. She was good enough to save all these clear plastic jars for me. And I sorted them down to diameter and kind of got close to length, but I didn't want to go that far. And uh, nuts and bolts. I had these wooden little bins that I made years ago. And then I just pretty much got everything all tore apart. And I had shit laying all over the place here. Look at there, I even found a first aid kit. Like, that's going to do me any good if I hurt myself out here. I mean, really? Rubber gloves and a band-aid and some gauze. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that, my old cutoff's getting pretty wore out. But anyways, the butcher shop is clean for a while. I went through everything. And yes, it took me 10 to 12 hours just sorting stuff. Getting stuff where I could get at it easier. Stuff I use most. Look at that, it's warm enough in here. There's a fly buzzing around there. See that? Look at that. Holy shit. Oh well, I guess he's got to live somewhere too. But I got my saws and everything else. And chainsaw grinder there, or saw blade grinder, and ear nailers, and routers, and biscuit joiners, and shingle nailer. You shit, you name it. I got clamps. Anybody want some clamps? But you can never have too many clamps. If you're building cabinets and whatnot. But I guess now I gotta find some reason to mess this place up. I got a feeling a buddy of mine's gonna be stopping by tomorrow with a gun he needs fixed because he's been bothering me about it. And then, uh, there you have your proverbial bag of hammers. <laughs> you know, I know guys that are dumber than that bag of hammers there. But anyways, I'll tell you what, I sure am glad when I uh, put this little shop up inside of this pole shed that uh, I took the time and trouble to uh, insulated good because that uh, kerosene heater like that it can be pretty cold out and I can get it warm enough where it's uh, tolerable to work out here anyways like I said it's 
almost 70 degrees in here right now. That's only been going for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Feet are kind of cold. These pavers that I put in here instead of concrete, they're kind of cold, but they were left over from a job I did, and so I didn't see no reason to spend money on that. And, well, I guess the next stop or the next step is going to be to come out here and do some straightening out here. But it's not too bad. Alright, well, y'all have a good one. It's been a pretty decent winter so far. I haven't had any salesmen come by, so that's kind of just stuck where it is. Alrighty. Y'all have a good one. Later.